I'm David Rowan. I'm editor of Wired's UK edition, and I spend my time traveling around the world meeting the people trying to invent the future. And I'm Chaney Robinson, Chief Experience Officer at Isobar. The world will never move this slowly again. There's some amazing innovation that is accelerating, that's going mainstream very quickly. Artificial intelligence in all its forms is going to automate a lot of the conversation you have with your consumer. In the short term, it's going to be through these little bits of software called bots. We're already starting to see chat bots. You can ask the airline when the next flight is and the machine understands your question. Um, we're just at the beginning of this conversational relationship. We are able to be immersed in a brand story through new tools like virtual reality, augmented reality. And we're just at the beginning, so a lot of the headsets that are going to hit the market this year, well, they're expensive, they're not quite perfect. Over the next few years, they will become more ubiquitous. And when you are able to explore the world, be in that hotel, feel what it's like to be in that person's position, that creates a new layer of emotional intuition, a new layer of empathy. And that's something that brands have very, very rarely been able to achieve. The main message that I wanted to get across today is that technology is just an enabler and that it truly is about creating new meaning and relevance and having a human-centered approach that acknowledges um, what brands wish to have in terms of behavioral change um, and how to have greater relevance to their customers, how to know them better, how to anticipate their needs better, and how to um, make more personalized experiences that are more relevant, more competitive, more interesting, more fun, um, and really bring those options to, I mean, can is about creativity, and I think, you know, all of these are just tools, and how we use them is actually where the opportunity lies. If you don't keep up, if you don't understand what's happening in the 15-year-old's bedroom in Bangkok, in the research lab in Shanghai, in the behavior of your own kids, you're going to be left behind. And you don't have to become an expert in artificial intelligence, in data analytics, but you do need to understand how quickly that is giving your competitors an advantage.